I'm Christy Johnson and we're standing here in the Confederate section of Elmwood Cemetery in Columbia, South Carolina. This is a special set-aside section that was actually created during the Civil War years to bury Confederate soldiers. In the immediate post-war years, Confederate cemeteries really became a focal point of the community. It's where people came together to mourn in private situations and to remember their fallen loved ones. Now, as the years passed on, it became more and more of a standard event to have once a year come out to the graveyards, put flowers, flags, and memorialize these men. That has basically worked its way into the moderate Memorial Day services from the Union side that we celebrate the end of every May. And it also has worked its way into a separate Confederate Memorial Day holiday. Sometimes it's even called Decoration Day in other states. Confederate Memorial Day is actually celebrated different times of the year depending on which southern state you're in. A major frustration to researchers of um, the Confederate burials here in Elmwood Cemetery is the fact that the original records were lost. It's hard to know who was buried where and when they were buried because those records actually were sent to Washington Street Methodist Church when Sherman's troops started entering Columbia. That church was subsequently burned during the fires on February 17th, and with it, a lot of the information about these men. Standing beside a recent Confederate memorial here at Elmwood Cemetery, um, this marker actually tells the names of many of the men that we know are buried here in the Confederate section, but we're not sure which unknown grave they're actually located in. Some of the men we just simply know initials, like JLM or HJH. We're standing beside the most recent Confederate burial here in Elmwood Cemetery. Um, this young man was killed at, on the battlefield in Virginia. His parents probably never exactly knew what happened to him. His identity is still lost to the ages. Although we don't know much about him, again, we do know that he died up on a battlefield in Chantilly, Virginia. And recently, when they were doing construction in the area, they came across the soldier's remains. Looking around, they noticed some South Carolina palmetto tree buttons on, um, uh, here in the remains. Looking at those buttons, they decided to return the soldier back home to South Carolina. And he was buried here in Elmwood Cemetery with full military honors. As a permanent way to mourn the dead, a lot of um, towns got together and, and raised funds to build monuments to their soldiers. A common place to put them were in cemeteries and in courthouse squares. This one was dedicated in 1899 by the Ladies Memorial Association of Richland County. The interesting part of this story is that they actually changed Confederate Memorial Day that year um, from the springtime to October in order to allow for most of the Confederate veterans to go to the Confederate reunion down in Charleston in the spring of 1899 and to give time to complete this monument. So the whole town turned out for the dedication that day. One of the surprising things that people might not expect to see when they come to Elmwood Cemetery are the graves of Union soldiers. In front of the Confederate section, there are about 10 graves of Union soldiers. Now, these are actually the graves of soldiers who were a part of the occupying force during Reconstruction era Columbia, and not those of Sherman's troops when they moved through during the actual war years. There's actually a rather interesting burial arrangement to these Union soldiers. They are buried directly in front of the Confederate section at Elmwood. That way, when any civilians from the town of Columbia came to mourn their loved ones or even just to place tribute on other fallen soldiers' graves, they would have to walk right past the Union graves and be reminded that they're in an occupied city and they are, again, once more under Union control. Just off the main Confederate burial grounds of Elmwood Cemetery is a monument to the soldiers who lived their final years out at the Confederate Soldiers' Home right off the Bull Street area here in Columbia, South Carolina. I'm standing right now on a platform that was built by the United Daughters of the Confederacy in order to hold Confederate Memorial Day services here at Elmwood Cemetery. Um, it's very interesting when you stop and think about it. This was a place of mourning during the war years, immediately after, and still here in the year 2008, we come back to the same spot every spring to memorialize and to remember the fallen soldiers.